What is good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. We are out here still working on our fence trying to get everything done and uh, man so much to do. You know despite that there's so much to do I can't help but think about some of my fellow homesteaders out there that have even more to do and so much that some of them can't even move into their own houses yet or they've moved in before they were even ready which uh yeah let me tell you a little story about that here at life on beagle road we have mentioned little mountain life quite a bit my friend don bradner his wife and his kids pretty much left everything they knew bought a property up in the mountains and started building their dream home and dream homestead yeah for a while they were just living in their camper all four of them that's crazy I could not deal with my kids in a camper all that time that close uh-uh not gonna do it that ain't happening sorry Don you're a better man than me at some point they were able to kind of glide into the house that they were building it wasn't quite ready for that yet but the camper wasn't ready for them to stay in either so they had to go ahead and move into that house before they were ready and well that poses some issues doesn't it well now i've been sort of following along his journey and watching him transform this new property and this new house into something that he really loves and uh i started to think like man he's not only trying to build this house for him and his family but then he's also trying to get his homestead up and going trying to take care of his animals and run his garden and start a business I mean, Don left his job, he, you know, just like me, he used to work in education. He left it and uh, started on a new track for himself. So I respect that, I understand it, I know where, he, where he's been, I know where he's going. But man, I feel for him with all the work that he's gotta do. I do. So even though we've got a ton of work here to do on the homestead, I packed up my tools and my truck and I drove on down to Virginia so I could help him out, yep. I went on down to Virginia. I went down there for four days, believe it or not. Left Courtney and the kids alone. Whew. What a relief. We're almost there. I'm driving up the mountain as we speak, and uh, it is beautiful here. Everywhere I turn, you come into an opening, and there's a farm, a homestead, something. I can see why they moved up here and why they found this place. Had to take my phone off the dash here because it is bumpy going up this hill. And Don, this isn't a little mountain, I just want to let you know. So I hope you're talking about a little life instead of a little mountain. Don has been a huge fan of our show a loyal fan of Life on Beagle Road. Uh, we met him at the Homesteaders of America conference. He was one of the first people to come up and say hi to us. It's a good thing I got a truck driving up this mountain. Uh, and ever since then, we've been really good friends. We reconnected last year at the Homesteaders of America conference, had dinner, and we pretty much talk on a, a regular basis just about what's going on on each other's homesteads and what are the things, what are the obstacles that are getting in our way, what's going well, what's coming next. It's been a, a really awesome, awesome relationship that we've built. He is definitely part of our community. So almost there, keep driving and uh, be there soon. Well, electric net, that can only mean chickens, right? Don's got chickens, stuff in the yard. Is that Don? Yeah, there we go. We're gonna check on Natalie. All right. She's working. That's loud. Hey. I'm working here. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. My bad. It was my fault. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. 
That's pretty loud. <laughs> it's really loud. Like prior to me coming up, right? You've been working on this house for how long? Um, well, I've been working on it for a little over a year now. The the crew that built it built it last May, so it's now September. It's been a while. It's been a while. And where were you living prior to that? Well, we were living in the camper for 18 months, and then we just had to move in. And moving in made the whole finishing the house horrible because everything's everywhere. You right. have to move something every time you try to do a project. So, right. so we've got. We've got nails and we've got ponies. Nails and ponies and lightsabers. And a lightsaber, yes. yeah. Comfy? No, I don't like heights at all. All right, you hand those up. I just <laughs> What? Can you hold it, sweetie? No? All right. <laughs> Elbow grease. Who built this house? Not me. People from your part of the country. Right. It was from my <laughs> From your county, I believe. Finish up, Evelyn. Get out of there. That's your kid right there. You didn't even potty yet, but you said you had to go so bad. Well done. Thanks. Now I gotta get down. You're the one that forgot that piece. Oh, right? I know. If my wife saw me on this right now, she'd be having an ever loving fit. Why? Because she knows I hurt myself all the time. Oh. So she'd be like, take your time. Don't rush it. You know, she's the one that falls off stuff. Why'd you drop a spear on me? I tore the pear with Are you gonna catch it? We um. Apart. You got it? Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh. This one weighs more. One, two, two three. three. Oh. oh, yeah. All right. Spider monkey. Whew. None of my projects ever require a scaffold, I'm just saying. Like, beast myself like a whale up here. You said it, not me. Uh, Alright. Alright, see if it fits. It's good. I say, just need a... say it again, I can't hear you. Your measuring device is accurate, sir. Of course it is, Don. See, sometimes I can measure. So it's too long. How is it too long? Well, that's where I, that's where I, I put the thing. I it to go past into the wall. Oh, so you so set it up wrong. I screwed it up. But you don't even have that much space over there. I do. I have a sixteenth of a space over I there. I think we need an eighth. That might be an eighth, actually, because I think we took off one sixteenth of an inch to begin with, because I told you it was 13 sixteenths. Right. So I gave you three quarter. So your measuring tool is wrong. No, we were right. This floor is dangerous. I keep making a step over here, and there's nothing there. Like I'm, like It's literally like I'm walking the plank. Why? I don't understand why you would do... And then there's this one. Look at this. Like, the whole thing moves over there. I almost killed myself. I didn't feel like cutting the 2 by 6s down. That's terrible. So I could use them later for something else. Oh, Don. Do a purpose. I don't know. Did we get done what you wanted to get done? No, we did not. Okay. <laughs> but. But. We got some work done. Yeah. That was good. So this weekend we wanted to really just get a start and I was hoping to get like half the ceiling done. Right. The really big tall cathedral ceiling. I've had so many friends ask me to come help and I keep saying no because it's a disaster up here. <laughs> it is, 
And I just know how how organized you are <laughs> and how much judgment I would get. No judgment, come on, no judgment. And so I was very hesitant, but I I knew that your help would be very valuable and I knew it would be good in the end. Yeah. So it was worth saying yes. And Are you we, glad you did? Yes, absolutely. We, we got a lot done. Uh, how does it make you feel to have someone come out here and not like just somebody, but somebody who's into what you do. Like we, you, you know that we understand what it is you're doing here, right? So a lot of times when people come onto our property and we've got buckets everywhere, we've got chicken feed half open somewhere because you know my son doesn't want to put it away right or whatever. You know, we've all got our messes, but I understand all of it. How does it feel to have that sense of community, I guess? Yeah, I mean, that's again, part of why I said, yeah, go ahead and come on out because you get me. Yep. And my other friends from suburbia that live in townhouses, they don't get me. They don't no. get all this. And they, they, don't, don't, they don't see the progress. They don't understand why there's a cone hanging from a tree. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, it's much easier to to just work with people that are like-minded and in our community yeah. and want to work more for ourselves and see the end product come along. It's just, it's different. I don't get out of the house much. I don't go anywhere. That's very clear. Yeah, very clear. Thank you. I'm glad you got that on, on my trip here. Uh, and even more so because we're all quarantined, yeah. but it was really it was really awesome to get to come hang out with a friend, you know, the, uh, the camaraderie that you and I have. And what's funny is we've met three times. That's three. it. Yeah. Three times in person. That's it. This wasn't about me getting your house done. This was about me coming to hang out with a friend. Yeah, get away from the kids. Oh, gosh, yeah. Get, away, get away from the goats. goats, you know? <laughs> Take a break from the goats. I love our goats. I love Courtney. Yeah, you say get away from the goats, but you get here, you're like, I know. on, get some goats. I'm like, what? <laughs> Spent the entire time over here telling, telling me she get some goats, clear out these woods. I yeah. probably talked more about goats than Courtney does while I was here, I think. Yeah, that, I was a little shocked by that. Uh, she rubs off on me, you know? Yeah. In a good way. In a good Best way. way. You know, even though we've got so much going on on our homesteads, folks, sometimes we've got to remember what's most important. And the most important thing is community. Don is a part of my community. He is a friend, he is a fellow homesteader, and he is somebody that could have used just a tad bit of help. We may not have gotten a whole lot done. Actually, I don't think we got a whole lot of anything done. But uh, I think what he got from it was some confidence. Confidence that he can do it and that he can get it done but not only that, that if he needs a little bit of help, he can ask for it. And he's got folks that he can ask that are gonna be supportive and helpful. This was a big jump start. This whole week was a big jump start to finish the last mile of building this house. And it's been the long journey. And now when you start putting up shiplap, you're closing in those empty open walls that you've been looking at forever now. Like both myself and Natalie were just like, wow, here we go. This is it. We're, this is the home stretch. We're about to go design a kitchen tomorrow. Like it's, yep. we're, we're going forward. We're just, it's giving us new energy to finish this and we can, we can see the light at the end for sure. I mean, we got a little bit of work done. I just think we goofed off a lot and we just hung out a lot. Actually, one of the things we did was uh, we found a place that sells wood. I mean, if that wasn't a great distraction, I don't know what was. Check this out, folks, for real. Look at it. See, that's the other thing. I'm also helping Don here on my own homestead. I build stuff and Don needs stuff built. So we found the perfect pieces for his stuff that needs built and I'm gonna build that stuff here on Beagle Road. And I hope that you all remember about community. You take care of each other, okay? This video down here, folks, it's gonna tell you how much community means to us because at some point, our community reached out and helped us out.